Alrighty then. Turns out, I'm a big st stupid fucking idiot. <sighs> and once once again, Megan was just like, Did you... Did you go to Domfei? And I was like, yeah, I went to Domfei. So I went to Domfei off screen. And I had not gone to Domfei. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't understand... There are any... Okay. I don't understand how I could have thought that I did adult and child Dampe, and I did neither. I, I fully expect someone in the comments was like, Hey, you keep saying you did Dampe, but you didn't actually do Dampe. Uh, oh, man. So we're going to go do Dampe now. Because I didn't, I didn't save after I got it off screen. I was just like, God damn it. Hello? 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 Is it nighttime yet? There we go. Look out, Skeleton! Hey there, friend. Ding dong, ding dong. The current... Wait. Do you know what happened in the castle? <laughs> yeah, I got a buddy over there. I keep sending letters to him. He's not answering. I don't know, ma'am. Yeah, so in order to get the Dampe's heart-pounding grave-digging tour, it has to be early evening. So you have to wait until after the... Uh, after the sun sets, but if you play the sun song, it sends you to midnight, which is too late. So, that won't do. So instead, you have to just make it daytime, and then go stand out in Hyrule Field until it becomes night. And as soon as it becomes night, you can come on in and do the quest. I'm gonna get this Gold Skull Tullaballer here. Look at that power crouch dab action. Very nice. And now we proceed to the graveyard. I don't know how we missed both of those Skulltillas. They're pretty much the most easily it's accessible ones. I guess we just never went around getting the ones that are easy as a kid because I didn't have the boomerang and there were a bunch I wouldn't be able to get. Like that one over there. Come on, Dompe. Let's do this. Let's let the viewers at home find out what you've got for us. I feel like I even remember reading that text. Just, I don't know, man. It's... It's the magic meter. Dompe had the magic meter. <sighs> Dompe, Dompe, Dompe. I honestly don't know how I got that mixed up on it, but I am now working on a set of icons for the next tracker that will include all of the major plot things that it's hard to remember whether you've done or not. Okay, so now we have magic. Many things are possible to us. The first thing being, there is a chest here. Hello! No, I don't care about you. There's a chest down here that we can get with Din's fire. So let's do that. So now we should hopefully be able to make more progress in the Spirit Temple as well. And there's also the chest in the Desert Wasteland that we can get from this with the magic now. Because now we can use the Lens of Truth. We got bombs. Cool. Um, and also with the Lens of Truth, we can beat the chest game in Castletown. So I'm just going to go there next. And then after we're done with that, we'll become an adult, warp to the Spirit Temple, and then... Is there any way to get back to the Gerardo Fortress side? I feel like if I get lost in the in the Wasteland, it'll just send me back to the Desert Colossus instead of back to the Gerardo Fortress. Hmm. I may have to actually come at it from the Fortress side. I don't, I don't think you can cross the desert in the other directions. I don't think the spirit guide is there. Although if he was, we'd be able to follow him because I have the Lens of Truth and magic, so... Alright. Oh, man. So many things that you can do. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's cheat. Hey there. I want to play your game. Just kidding, I'm going to steal your stuff. Alright. Let's see what you got. Oh, what do you know? 
it's a key. Also on this side again. This, this game is so weird. The times that I've tried to do it legitimately have been immensely frustrating. But then once you have the lens of truth, it's completely trivial and just boring. I don't know. I guess this is kind of the definition of a bad mini game, if you ask me. Should I just roll the dice? Should I should I try and get lucky on the last one? What do you think? All right, all right. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I'm just gonna use my my best logic. I'm gonna guess the top one. Oh my god, I was right! I'm so lucky. All right, what you got? Five rupees. The mirror shield. <laughs> Oh, it's all coming together now, baby. It's all coming together now. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, we can beat the Spirit Temple now. No questions asked. I think we're pretty much on a on a collision course with the end of the game at this point. It's it's looking like things are gonna just gonna be smooth sailing from here. Because there's so many more things we can do now. With magic and then the mirror shield. So we can beat the Spirit Temple. So, let's see, where was I going to go next? I could become an adult. We're going to want to finish the Spirit Temple anyway, so... Might as well do that. What was the other thing that I needed magic for? Getting into the Shadow Temple, yes. But we need the Requiem for that. So, it's going to have to wait. Not the... wait, is it the Requiem? No, it's the uh, Nocturne. The Requiem is the Requiem of Spirit. Silly punch. So only the only significant items missing now are light arrows and hammer. Like, that's it. We just need light arrows and hammer. Pretty sweet, actually. Oh, and then of course we have to beat the temples so we can get to Ganon's castle. Let's see. I feel like magic was holding us back from doing so much, but now I can't think of anything. Okay, there's that grotto by... I guess we're, I guess we're going to go to Gerardo Fortress the vanilla way. Because there's a grotto on the way there that I can access now. We have fire arrows that actually can make fire. Um, and there's a chest in the desert wasteland that I want to get. So that's two reasons to go to the spirit temple by walking rather than by warping. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk. I still can't believe that one gossip stone just said, I overheard this. The Stone of Agony is in your inventory. <laughs> it's like, wow. Goddamn. Epona? Call my horse. Call my horse. Yeah, that tracker's looking pretty full now, isn't it? It's nice. That mirror shield really fills it out, let me tell you. Hello? 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 Horse? Alright. Let's go. I think that the uh, best overworld theme was Twilight Princess. Fight me in the comments. So, let's see. What are we going to get in the Spirit Temple, you think? Maybe we'll find the hammer, and then we can smash that like button and beat the Fire Temple. That'd be good. So let's see, the first grotto I wanted to look at is over here. It is this one. We have visited it before. Oh, wait, do I have to have the hammer for this? Come on now. It's not a silver rock, so I don't think I can just pick it up. Dang it! Well, we can come here as a kid, I guess. Not right now, but later. Because as a kid, you can get that open with a, with a bomb, but for some reason as an adult, it's a... Uh, it's a hammer rock. But there is, I think, a gold skulltola and a, maybe a chest and a gossip stone down there? It's a weird grotto. It's diff it's, I think it might have a unique shape. It has a like a winding path. Not a winding path, but sort of star-shaped. It actually kind of makes me think of the uh, some of the underwater underground caves you'd find on random islands in Wind Waker. The star-shaped ones, where you'd go down and there'd be five different paths. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and ride our horse off into the desert here. Now that we have the Lens of Truth and Din's Fire active, we can get the chest that's in the uh, 
the Colossus waypoint. Okay, see you later, Epona. You don't really seem to want to uh, go into the desert, so I'll just leave you here. Well, let's look shot across. I've been thinking about learning a speed run for this game. I'm not exactly sure what category I would want to learn. Because I've, I've looked at a few of them, and some of the categories are really long, and some of the categories have really difficult glitches to perform. Like ones that the the world record holders in those categories don't even get super consistently or like have to practice a lot in order to stay consistent on and so it's kind of like i don't know those are it's, it's you're stuck between a rock and a hard place when it comes to speed running ocarina of time because there's so many uh so many good players that the to break like the top 50 or something you gotta get pretty good you really would think he would appear in front of you, but okay. Oh, heart container. Oh my god, it's the heart container from Bomb Chew Bowling. <laughs> winner! <laughs> That's why it says winner. There's nothing here? Oh yeah, there's just a gold skull in there. Why does the chest appear in the middle of the room and the gold skull is there? I don't know, it's weird. Alright, now that we're almost there, we're just going to warp the rest of the way, because we don't actually need to follow the spirit guide for any reason. Warp to the Desert Colossus. I wonder what things I would want to have as a tracker on a Ultima Tracker. Which temples I've finished would be okay, I guess. Because I kind of have... I have all the songs and all the song cutscenes on there separately, so I can remember which ones I've done. With the medallions mixed up, it's not as bad because... You can just go to the Temple of Time and check the, what would you call it, the Altar of Time? I don't know what the little table that has the spiritual stones on it is called, but it tells you... God damn it. Your shield is gone! Fuck you, give me back my shield! I ain't about to take things off the tracker. Give me that back. We'll see how long I can go without equipping it. We should probably put the mirror shield on anyway. Can he eat the mirror shield? Because the mirror shield's not replaceable. I don't know. I'll just put the mirror shield on. Boom! Damn, that looks good. Got those original 1.0 textures too, so it still has the moon and star on it. Very nice. We go through here. FU, invisible dudes. Let's go ahead and get this chest. We still don't have the hammer, so I can't hit that switch up there, but who knows? Maybe the hammer's right here. Wouldn't that be convenient? So this should make this appear. And then I guess the switch up there is what unlocks that door. So it's not actually required, I don't think. You got a small key. Okay. Well, we needed one of those, I think. Let's see. Yeah, we need that. That's exactly right. We needed one more key to be able to beat this dungeon, because we need to to be able to get to the top floor, and we were just one key short of that. Uh, aim carefully, Link. Height. Gotta get some height. <laughs> oh, Link. Yeah. So this is the locked door that was previously stopping our progress. Damn, it feels good. And if you're quick here, you can actually <laughs> get your, make your way up this. Nice puzzle, Nintendo. Without um, even getting hit by Beamos. Let's go ahead and crack this door open. I want to see if I can do the clip to get the chest without turning the fire off. All I have to do is bump into a, a torch slug, and then... Go for the chest. Well, <laughs> during your invincibility frames from the torch slug. Alright. Nope. That didn't work. I think it has to be a little bit quicker than that. Yeah, you see, I, I have the time to roll. I'm just not lined up right. Okay, hang on. Come here, torch slugs. Nice! <laughs> 
You got the fucking hammer! Nice! Oh my god. Oh, it's so great. I love it. I love the hammer. The hammer's my favorite Zelda weapon, too. I'm really sad that we got it so late. Get out of here. I gotta smash some fake doors. Just like you gotta smash that like button. Kill me. All right, I'm gonna go back. Well, should I go back down there and, and smash that rusted switch? I think it just I think it's just gonna open a path back to the front of the dungeon, but ah! it'll uh it'll make me feel good to use the hammer. So let's do it. Hammer's so cool. I learned the other day that the power crouch stabbing not only stores what type of, uh, or what, how much damage you do, you were doing, and also stores what type of damage you were doing. So you can jump slash with the hammer, and then power crouch stab with the sword, and it'll act like you're using the, the Megaton hammer. So you can actually get ISG with hammer stored, and smack switches without having to actually swing the hammer. It's pretty cool. Can I? Thank you. Let's go through here. I'm pretty sure this is just a silver block to press and it becomes a shortcut back to the top part of the dungeon. But hey, never know. Well, I guess I should have marked off a chest because we got the, the hammer out of the chest here. Once we get the compass, it'll be pretty clear how many chests are left. I'm gonna have to double check and see if the count I had for the water temple was, was right. Is it just a, uh, yeah, it's just a rusty switch here. Boom. So now the elevator to the front room is working. So if we ever have to come back here, it'll be quicker. I think we can probably finish the dungeon now. I mean, we've got, we have pretty much every major item. The only thing we don't have is the light arrows now. It really makes you wonder, actually, if the way the logic works, it's just going to be more likely that the light arrows will be at the end of the game because they're not required for anything except Ganon. Like, they might be in Ganon's castle. We're certainly going to have to complete the trials before I can say that, we, that we're having trouble finding them, because there's a lot of chests in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is not going to work. Ah! You assholes. Leave me alone. I'm just going to leave and come back so that they'll forget I exist. This works for substitute teachers, too. What the... You guys aren't supposed to be facing me. God damn it. I got to climb this wall. Oh my god, that sound! Did you hear that stereo whir? That was wild! Alright. Can I just... You guys are immune to the hammer? <laughs> it's killing the Skiltskiltella over and over. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Seems like the mirror shield should be able to reflect their lasers back at them, right? Doesn't that seem about right? Alright. Nice aim, dude. There we go. Just like I did it the first time. Pretend you didn't see any of that. Yeah, and Link has uh, invincibility frames while he's in the bottom of his roll, so... That one little slidey dude there is not actually an obstacle. It's so weird that there's an intended game mechanic of being able to stick your sword through those gaps. You would think that sort of thing would just be... It would be like a video game logic situation where it's like, What do you mean I can't just stick my sword through there and poke that switch? It's so obvious and close. He could clearly reach it. Whereas in this game, they have you smack the, uh, the bars, and that counts as your sword. Come on. Eh. Where am I going to stand to make it so Link can actually... Look at this thing. What a pain in the ass. Oh good! It's not even anything I want. There's a chest here though. With ice! No. Oh, it's the compass. Okay, cool. Let me see how many chests are left. According to my count, it should be four. It's just one. Oh, and it's the one that you have to use the... Hmm, okay. It won't take long to get back to that if I decide I want to go check it. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna want to check it because it could be the light arrows, but you know. All right, let's go ahead and turn this. Does it stop at 45 degrees? Yeah, I have to push it twice. Okay. 
Do I use a hammer on this? I'm just gonna use the hammer on everything now. Like, the hammer might be equipped for the rest of the game. It's, like, literally my favorite item. The hammer and the bow, both so cool. Fuck you! I'm just gonna- Oh, the lag! Just gonna turn this. You fucking asshole. Why are you making my game lag so much, dude? Cut it out. Oh man, too many floating objects. Too many flying entities. The game doesn't know what to do with it. Oh my gosh. Whoa, the lag is real. Is my computer doing something else, I wonder? Hmm. That would be weird. Oh, you can see the, the shield icon sliding up and down. Do we have the boss key? We do have the boss key. Oh yeah, well, that's right, we got it as a kid. <laughs> Super early. I don't remember how you're supposed to know to do that, other than to look at your map and be like, hey, there's a door on this side of the room. Yeah, so we'll come back to get that last chest rather than stopping now. All right, let's see if I can do the... Nope. <laughs> I want to see if I can get in the right position, because there's a spot by the foot over here where he just cannot hit you. Eh, that was not it, but nice crouch tabs. You know what? I got double defense. I'm about to tank this guy. And you don't have to fight the armorless version because it's Nabooru. Spoilers! She's the Sage of Spirit! Why does this feel like I'm going backwards? Oh, this is right. Is she already here? Oh my god. Quick, get up there, Link! Shit! They're shooting the lasers at you! Hide down here for a second. All right. All right. Who wants to fire their laser next? Oh, what the fuck! You're supposed to aim for my shield, Kume. Get your shit together. Got her. All right, y'all gonna behave? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where the hell are you going? Alright, this should work. There we go! The beam is active until it's completely disappeared, so even when it's shrunk really small, you can still do it. Don't you go out of range, you bitch. Oh my god. I hate you. Where's your sister at? Oh, thank goodness, she just flew right into <laughs> my zone. Got him! Go on, do your combo move already. Everyone's waiting. Everyone's waiting for the next surprise. I don't want them both to spin. Oh, come on! I went right over her. Alright, do your combo move. Show me what you got! Show me what you got! There it is. <laughs> well, it's serious now. Kodak and Kume's double dynamite attack! And Link's like, oh my god, I'm experiencing feelings. What is this feeling in my groin? That's one! Oh my goodness, those textures are broken. That looks good though. Look at that. That looks wild, dude! Look at Link's shield! The ESS turns on you, you're good angle. Look at that! Oh, let's get right here. Gotta fight the boss. No! I wanted to one cycle you! Now she's gonna do random stuff, so I have to actually pay attention to which one she's. Okay! Guess we're trying to collect the other one. Give me fire! Or ice, whatever. I just need three of the same thing, so. Is it ice? It is ice! Thanks! Just need one more ice, if you don't mind. She's probably gonna give me three fire in a row, though, now, because I missed that first ice. Oh no! Ice! Apparently it's random, and I'm just lucky. Oh, I was only two hits away! I just need better timing. 
This is going to give us the shadow medallion. Ooh, I wonder what, what the heart piece will be. The heart container. You think it'll be five rupees? Do I still get to watch this cutscene, though? Hmm. They're both like, huh? <laughs> We're dead. Oh, it's like, where the hell's the heart piece? I forgot it appears over here for some reason. You got a thing! Fucking called it. Five rupees for the heart container. Damn, that feels bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh. Randomizer actually kind of takes some of the fun out of items because normally you'll get um, a sense of satisfaction from collecting an item. And, you, and there's, an, there's an anticipation. There's a build-up period. And randomizer takes that away completely. Not only do you not have a sense of anticipation and build up before opening a random chest in a grotto that turns out to be light arrows, you know, you also don't have uh, the payoff for hard work when your heart container at the end of a dungeon is five fucking rupees, you know. So I think as far as as far as gameplay goes, it's fun. But as far as like narrative and pacing and and keeping the, the player engaged. Oh, it's terrible. Oh my gosh. You get your hopes up and then they dash your dreams. Alright, let's uh... Let's go get that... That one we missed. I knew opening up this shortcut was gonna come in handy. I always do this stuff. If there's an opportunity to lay down a trail of breadcrumbs for later, absolutely do it. It is almost always gonna pay off. Can I get it? Oh, it's close. I think I can get it. Maybe... Ah, got him. Nice. So I think it's just through here, but then don't go through the key door. Yeah, it's the other side. Oh, this game is so much fun. People have expressed interest in seeing me do another randomizer, but I don't know if there's any other games that I know well enough to do a randomizer of. If I tried to do a randomizer of Wind... of, a uh, Not Wind Waker, uh, Majora's Mask? Oh my god. That would be a disaster. Um, is this the room with a like like in it? No, which room had a, a chest just sitting up there with? <laughs> well, I mean, sure, I guess. <laughs> cool. So where to now? I guess Fire Temple, since we don't have the Nocturne of Shadows still. Man, this has been a great video. Gotten so many things. Collected so many items, dude. Yeah, that's actually not much left, is there? It's pretty exciting. Oh, I should have checked the map. I, I think we're done in, in Spirit Temple. I, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and check it off because we, if I miss a chest in there, we'll just be screwed. Um, basically, I don't want to bother going back and uh, try to figure out if there's another chest that's gonna fall from the ceiling or something. If we end up getting totally stumped later, I'll have to go check again, but I'm pretty sure that we checked the map and that that was the only chest left. So, shouldn't be that 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 big of a deal. I'm gonna go ahead and do this little front area of the fire temple here, and then I'll call it a video. I just want to use the hammer some more, dude. Oh, we can also do the Jerdo training grounds now. Maybe I should be doing that right now, rather than starting the, the fire temple. Eh. Well, I mean, we already have the hammer, so we should be able to finish the fire temple. So I guess there's no reason to wait. Come here, everybody. Aggro onto me. Oh my goodness, Megan, your hands are freezing. What did you just do? Oh, you got another booze hall. Oh! Yeah, we keep the booze in the freezer, so it's cold. That's something about really cold booze that's interesting. Did I miss a bat? What's going on? Oh my goodness, there's a sluggo! He's trying to hide! He's like, no, don't squish me. Really? Come on, dude. Give it up. I guess I could try a randomizer of... Uh, I wish there was like a randomizer for Spyro. That would be cool. I don't need to do any of this shit. Fuck Skull Tullus. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. Oh my gosh. I've never heard that, that laugh so clearly before. Do they make it more clear for randomizer? Oh, damn it. I'm just gonna fucking squish this dude. 
What? He ran right past me. Normally he squirts to a stop. Like that. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> I love hitting people with the hammer, dude. No, why are you climbing up there, Link? <laughs> oh, he sideswipes! The times you can get him to... God damn it. Just wasted a cycle. I'm sad now. Right, let me store... Mm. I think that still counts as storing a uh, jump slash, though. So now I can do this. Yeah, okay, he's going back in now. Here you. Yeah, he goes right back up. Look at that. Apparently, Master Short Jump Slash is too strong. Got him. Man, if I like accidentally got like a has or something from that guy exploding on me, and I just suddenly learned how to do it, like, and it became this amazing intuition, that'd be hilarious. That's not how it works, though. Timing's pretty precise. I got a chest in the Fire Temple, and it was rupees. Cool. That means there's only one actual chest left in the whole dungeon. How can that be, man? We have the hammer! It's a lot of small keys, that's probably why. Oh my goodness. What a sneeze. Let's go ahead and get the boss key chest and call it a day. What do we got? Five rupees. Hmm, small key. That is also acceptable. Alright, next episode we'll beat the fire temple.